Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. Thank you for watching today. My name is Rich Tarani. We are at Interop New York 2010, and on our program is Michael Fitzell. He is a VP of Engineering at Inzenia. Michael, how are you? Good. So you came down from uh, Nashua, New Hampshire yep. to be with us today. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I figured we'd start out by talking a little bit about what your company does. I'd say we do secure messaging and information sharing. Um, the tool is based off a, 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 it's the next generation of our previous product, which was used primarily in the uh, defense industry and the information uh, intelligence agencies. And a lot of the same issues they have around privacy of data or, or in, in integrity is transferred into the commercial space. So what we're looking at is, is coming into a more commercial venue like this to try to you know, show our people our product. So I would imagine that uh, one area of interest would be from companies that have to deal with compliance. Absolutely. Financial compliance or right. healthcare come to mind. Right. So what we try to show them is like one of our customers had banned instant messaging, made it a virus because they couldn't protect it. Well, we didn't, were able to go in and show them how we protected their data and, were, and had the level of encryption that they needed so they can communicate with their customers. Now, is your product sitting on top of traditional instant messaging systems? No, it's completely um, homegrown. It, okay. We do, it is based on a protocol, XMPP, okay. which is a standard. And that's but we've the Jabber, right? That's... Jabber is typically the one of the most well known of the um, companies that follows that. And Google, standard. I think, also right. is, is using it. So right. it allows us, there is some level of interoperability between those if we wanted to. But it, it comes down to protecting your data. And we have a very highly secure permission based system. So not only are we doing like double encryption on the wire, but once you're in a system, you have to, the whole structure of the, these virtual places and meeting rooms is all permission based. So you can only go to a place where you're allowed to go. And you can set it up so it's group wise or corporation wise, organizational. But, and then inside of that is a document storage for that particular meeting room. And then you can permission to that level, of, I can get in the room, but I can't get at the documents. So. What do you do to uh, check to see if hackers are trying to break into these systems? Like, you have some kind of, uh, or is it just so secure it's not an issue? It's, or it's, how do you... it, it's, well, because the application, we actually, it's not a, a pure web-based application. You actually, you, you, you launch it from a web browser, but it's, a, it's really a, it's a dynamic client that we, we push down. Similar to a VPN then in terms of functionality? Yes, right, so, and then once we, you, the client is there, we've got the pipe, and it's, it's not like an open port. So the pipe is secure, so basically. Pipe, it, somebody hits the port, they still, there's no way for them to get through it. Even if, if they did, they wouldn't know what they're doing anyways. Because it's all encrypted. It's all encrypted. We've got two layers of encryption built into it. And even okay, if, so then you have to break both. They have to break both. And it's two, the, the out, outside layer is SSL. The inside layer is a 256 AES FIP certified encryption. So that's highly, highly secure. Yes. That's great. Okay, and so how long has the company been around? Over 10 years. Um, Primarily, like I said, in the DOD and uh, Intel engine uh, space. But and what made you decide to branch out into? Um, a, a number of things. I mean, it's a larger market out here. Uh, what we what we saw was there's a lot of uh, regulations coming out, and we looked at you know things had to be encrypted or secure. And we've been doing that. I mean, that's in our DNA. That's how we think, and it's it's becoming more important to the commercial space. It's a larger market for us. Now, when you start getting into uh, the commercial realm, and potentially seeing consumers having access to this sort of technology, then you have the concern of governments wanting to potentially hack into it or break into it or have keys to the communications. Is that an issue that you may have to deal with? That, that actually hasn't come up. I mean, okay. it's not something, uh, I mean, anything, certain agencies out there have the technology to do that. I mean, but they typically don't. I mean, there's, there's laws for that. Okay, just wondering how, that, yeah. how that's going. Okay, and so uh, what's next for you? Uh, well, we just announced this product in May, and what we're doing is I'm, I'm got a two-month development uh, basically schedule that we're pushing out new features. Great. Um, we're looking at adding video. We, we talked to some video vendors here. We're doing some integrations with. So we want to add a video component. Um, it's not something we're, that we're experts in, so I want to find somebody that is. I want to give our customers the best value for what they're paying for. Um, and then we're looking at a, a more web-based client 
And one of the things we just added for the show here was the ability from within a, a, a meeting space is to actually send a text message to somebody. So it's not in the meeting, but I want to get a hold of them. So I can say, you need to see this, and we can just fire a text message from within a chat session. Oh, okay. Now what about voice? Voice is built into the product. So okay. we have our own uh, VoIP capability, and we modeled it after our previous product. It had to go from the Humvees out in Afghanistan or Iraq back to DC someplace. And so you had various networks that had to traverse from the low end down on the battlefield. So we tried to, we built our own um, media server that can handle that type of traffic. Oh, okay. Very exciting. Yeah. So, well, thanks for being on our program well, thank today. Thank you. Great to meet you. Thanks.